Hi, my name is Kim, and today we're going to talk about turtles. Welcome to McHenry County Conservation District's Wonders of the Wild. This is a snapping turtle. You can tell with its pronounced ridge down the center of the top of its shell or carapace and the points at the back of the shell. It also doesn't have very high of a dome. The snapping turtle also has a bad reputation. But that's because the plastron or the underneath of the shell leaves a lot exposed. That leaves the snapping turtle very vulnerable and very defensive. Snapping turtles typically lay their eggs in June and they'll hatch in about six to ten weeks. When they hatch they're about the size of a quarter and they're totally on their own. The mother is not there when they hatch, she does not see them or care for them. It's a, their job to find safety and water. The painted turtle is definitely the most common turtle in McHenry County and you can see why it got its name. It has the different yellow and red striping on its neck, on its legs, and on its shell as well. The painted turtle lives in a wide variety of habitats, ponds, streams, wetlands, and it eats a wide variety of foods as well, including plants. You'll notice that because it's an aquatic turtle, it does have those webbed feet with the claws at the end just like the snapping turtle and the other aquatic turtles had. It has a fairly smooth shell, the carapace on top here. The underneath, the shell that's called the plastron, that is a fully covered shell, as opposed to the snapping turtle, which had much more of its skin exposed underneath. The Blanding's turtle has a very high domed shell. You'll also notice it has some gold spots on top and a bright yellow or gold under its chin. This is another aquatic turtle of McHenry County. In fact, we do not have any land turtles in our area. No box turtles, no tortoises. The Blanding's turtle is endangered in the state of Illinois due to habitat loss and overpredation. Its habitat is specific. It wants to be in a wetland, not a pond or a lake or a river, but specifically a wetland. Because of the endangered status, the McHenry County Conservation District is helping Blanding's turtles by following females and finding where they lay their eggs and then taking the eggs back to the Wildlife Resource Center where we raise them for a year. After that year, we go back to the same place the eggs were found and release the turtles. Hopefully, that way they have a head start being a little bit bigger and stronger when we release them in the wild. This is a softshell turtle. It's very different from the others. For one, the shell is literally soft, almost leathery. It also has fully webbed feet without as long of claws as the others. This is because you'll rarely see them out of the water. They live mostly in rivers. I've personally seen softshell turtles basking on sandbars in the Nipperson Creek, but they're not out of the water as often as the other species will be. They are, however, like the others, required to regulate their body temperature since they do not have a steady temperature like we do. That's why you see turtles in and out of the water to warm up or cool down. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to respect the plants and animals in your local conservation areas and watch for us next time on McHenry County Conservation District's Wonders of the Wild.